Great contact tower now on 126.0. 126.0 for one thing, that's right, thanks. Hi, this is Pia Berquist, Senior Editor with Flying Magazine. Today I'm at, in uh, Lakeland, Florida at the Sun and Fun 2012 Fly-In and Expo, Expo. And I'm here with uh, Stu Horn, who is the President and CEO of uh, Aviot Aircraft, producer of the beautiful Husky. And uh, today we're going to talk about a new uh, landing gear system that uh, was just certified with the FAA. So, uh, Stu, can you just explain a little bit about uh, what you've done with, with, the, with this airplane? Yes, P, of course. We've, we've recently created a new flex dampened landing gear for the Husky, and it smooths out the roughest of fields into the equivalent of a paved runway. So now Husky pilots that are beginning or intermediate become advanced Husky pilots in ground control landing in rough field conditions, and advanced pilots become experts because of this new shock dampened flex gear. So uh, good applications of this is let's say we have a quartering crosswind and we have a rough field where the ground is uneven and as we're landing we hit a little high spot and it launches us into the air and we kind of float a little bit. In the crosswind there's a tendency for the plane to drift away from the wind as a result of the crosswind and and then when you land the second time there's a cross load component side load and a forward load and the ground control on uneven ground becomes challenging in some cases this new gear eliminates that condition so instead of hopping the first time it stays on the ground oh, right. and smooths out those rough fields <laughs> and eliminates uh, difficult landing circumstances. Wow, so where does this idea come from? Well, the idea came out of a uh, particularly uh, hard landing that I had on about a four, four or five hundred foot uphill side sloped strip. And uh, when you come in a, a situation like that, there's an optical illusion where you think you're actually lower than, than you really are. Mm -hmm. So I came in a little bit uh, too high and too long on the field and I hit the ground before I was ready to. <laughs> right. And I took a hop up and a resultant uh, 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 bad landing uh, situation and difficult ground control situation because of the uphill and side slope and uneven. So when I came back to the factory, I said, I'm gonna create a new gear that eliminates that bounce. Mm -hmm. So that I, if I stuck on the ground, I'd have a great landing. So we went into our dog house, that's our R&D center, and dog is D-A-W-G. <laughs> we went into the dog house and we took a couple of technicians and engineers and I told them the circumstances that occurred and how we needed to eliminate that. And we came up with this shock damp and flex gear. And uh, shortly thereafter, we were back out in the, in the back country flying. Mm -hmm. And it really works, it, it worked what we wanted. Three iterations later, it became certified and it's now available on our, all our new 2012 Huskies. Beautiful, beautiful. Is it going to be uh, retrofitable as well or is it just for the new airplane? Right now it's just for the new airplanes. We asked the FAA to have a retrofit installation kit made available and the FAA is considering uh, whether they'll uh, process that application and approve it. Uh, right now, it's for the new airplanes. Possibly in the near future, it will be available as a retrofit. Fantastic. That's great. So it's just a little shock absorber that sits inside the, the landing gear, or how does it actually work? <clears throat> There's this internal uh, shock absorber inside, and it's attached to the arm of the landing gear. So if this was the wheel, mm -hmm. if this was the gear leg, and this was the extension of the gear leg into the fuselage, it's attached to the fuselage bungee truss structure with like a rubber band, which we call a bungee. In normal uh, landings, the gear, as the weight of the wing uh, is transferred to the wheels, uh, the gear splays out and mm -hmm. it stretches the rubber band. Mm -hmm. And the, you know what happens when you stretch a rubber band? It wants to spring back. Sure. So that spring back essentially uh, creates, uh, in the right circumstances, a bounce. Right. 
And so we put in a dampener to control the rate of the spring back and eliminate the potential of bouncing back up. It uh, looks like a shock absorber, but it's filled with oil. And inside, there's different valves and baffles which control the flow of the oil and as it's uh, displaced. And that controls the rate of how much the gear can come back. And so in that controlled rate, the plane stays on the ground instead of bouncing up. Fantastic. Great idea. And how are you enjoying the Sun and Fun show this year? I know you had uh, a little bit of an unfortunate experience last year with a, with a tornado and everything. Yes, this year we have blue skies, and that should say it all. If we can mm -hmm. uh, have blue skies continue, it's going to be a great show. Well, I love coming to Sun and Fun. It's our favorite fly-in air show of the year, and it's the first one of the season. So it's nice to get out. We come from Afton, Wyoming. We still have snow, so it's nice to come out and see the sun and blue skies. Absolutely. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Stu, and um, really appreciate the information about the new landing gear. And this is Pia uh, reporting from Sun and Fun in Lakeland, Florida. One Tango X-ray, contact tower now on 126.0. 126.0.